Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, as you all know that on our YouTube channel, we Infosys System Engineer Preparation Series is going on. And in this particular video, I will be discussing the latest pseudo questions that were previously asked in the Infosys System Engineer hiring. So guys, this is the second video of this preparation series. Yesterday only, I posted a video regarding the latest reasoning, logical reasoning questions of Infosys. So if you have not watched that video till now, please watch it. Okay, I will give you the video link and this dedicated playlist link in the i button as well as in the description box do check them out okay and guys before moving ahead guys make sure to hit that like and subscribe button because we are continuously making videos for different different companies preparation okay if you have any doubts you can write in the comment section or you can join this telegram group it's dedicated for 2026 batch students okay also in this video i will also be telling you about the resources that you can consider for the preparation of infosys exam okay so make sure to watch this video till the end so now let's start this video Okay, so the first question is, what will be the output of the following pseudocode for array 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? So if you will look closely, you will find that there is an array given 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and there is a loop that is running on for the entire which is covering every element of this array. So what it will be? It is doing ARR of i equivalent to ARR of i that is the current element plus ARR of i plus 1. This is what it is doing till i less than 2. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0th index, 1st index, 2nd index, 3rd index, 4th index. Okay. So, <clears throat> now let's just do step by step. Now, the updated, uh, once we will start this loop, now the updated value of 1 will become this formula we have to calculate the current value plus the next value. So, now this value will become current value plus next value. This, this will become 3. Similarly, this will become current value plus next value 5, 3 plus 4, 7. 4 plus 5 9 and for the last element since we cannot do i plus 1 so what it will be it will be like this 3 5 7 9 5 3 5 7 9 5 so this is the correct option here that is 3 5 7 9 5 i hope now this particular question is clear to you moving towards the next question is what will be the output of the following pseudo code okay initialize integer x equivalent to 4 always write down whatever the integers are given to you okay and then we are doing do while loop now what for doing this question you should know what is a do while loop so first it goes inside the loop for first iteration first iteration always runs and then the condition is checked okay x is for y1 okay so for first iteration it will go inside the loop x is equal to x plus 2 now x has become 6 y is equal to y into x now y has become 6 again okay now it will check while x is less than 10 so x is 6 now is x less than 10 yes so then the second iteration will happen so now for the second iteration x is equal to x plus 2 now x has become 8 then y is equal to y into x so y was 6 6 things into x 8 into x is what it is 48 so y has now become 48 now again this will be checked x less than 10 x is 8 less than 10 yes this condition is fulfilled now again it will go inside this loop so x has now become 10 y will be now become 48 into 10 that is 480 okay and now it will check is x less than 10 so answer is no x is not less than 10 therefore this iteration will not run again print y what is the value of y in the end it is 480 so this is the correct option here i hope it's clear to you moving towards the next question is uh, predict the output of the following pseudocode n is equal to 5 and m is equal to 6 okay now Coming inside the loop, if n is greater than 4 and m is less than 7. Yeah, sorry. So, if n is greater than 4 and m is less than 7. So, n is greater than 4, yes. m is less than 7, yes. It is true. So, this will, this particular, this thing will run. So, let's just, it is a recursion based question. So, let's just make a, make a stack here. So, here, n was 5, m was 6. Okay. First iteration. Then it will go towards the next iteration as this is the recursive question. So, again, what will happen? n plus 1, m plus 1. So, n will now become 6, m will now become 7. Now, again, this, it, this will be checked. If n is greater than 4, answer is yes, n is greater than 4. And m is less than 7, so answer is no, m is not less than 7. So, in that, in, inside this condition, what will happen? n plus m will be returned. n plus m will be returned. So, it will return here 13. Okay, 13 will be returned here. 
so it will go now inside this block it will go and from here we were returning solve n plus n m plus 1 so again 13 will also be returned from here only so this is the correct option okay i hope now this particular question is also clear to you okay so guys before moving ahead i would like you to know that on our top mid page of code bashers we have enforced this system engineer preparation material in this particular material all the sections that will be coming in your Infosys exam for all those sections previously asked actual questions of Infosys are there. So actual aptitude and technical ability questions previously asked, actual logical reasoning questions, verbal ability questions, pseudo codes, puzzle questions, English grammar questions. So all these sections, the questions that have been asked previously in Infosys are covered in these particular material. So if I will show you a sample of let's suppose the logical reasoning PDF, you can see here we have the exact question, the options and the correct answer for it. For every question we have the correct question, options and answer. Similarly for pseudocode also you can see we have lot of pseudocodes which you can practice not just for Infosys but for other companies also. Similarly for aptitude also you can see we have the question, we have the options and we have the correct answer for it. Okay, so guys best way for preparation for any exam is by solving the previously asked questions of that exam. If you are interested in this material, the links are in the description box and there is a flat 20% off for first 100 students that will be buying this material. Again, the coupon code is also in the description box. Do check them out. Okay, so the next question is evaluate the output of the pseudocode. So x is given to us as 8, y is given to us as 4. Now, z is equal to x right shift by 2 plus y left shift by, left shift by 1. So, let's just write it in the binary form. So, 8. This is what 8 looks like in the binary form. Y is lo y looks like this in the binary form. So, what we are doing in x, we are doing right shift by 2. So, right shift by 2 bits. So, it will now become 1, 0. That is equivalent to 2. And in y, we are doing left shift by 1. So, it will become 1, triple 0. That is equivalent to 8. Now, what we were doing, we are simply adding these two values. So, 2, 2 plus 8 will be 10. So, yeah, 10 is the correct option here. I hope now it is clear to you. Next is x is given as 2. So, x is equal to 2, y equal to 5 z equal to 10 okay now for integer i equal to 1 to i equal to 3 for integer j equal to 1 to to 4 so this means that total how many times this particular statement will run okay four times for the inner loop and then three times for the outer loop so four into three times this inner statement will be running that is 12 times this inner statement will be running result is starting from zero okay and what is happening every time result is getting added x plus y plus z. In x plus y plus z, result is getting added. So, what we should do here? So, <clears throat> first of all, x plus y plus z. So, 2 plus 5 plus 10. Then, for every iteration, what is happening? For every iteration, this is getting added. This plus 1 is getting added to these things. So, then it will become 3 plus 6 plus 11. Then 4 plus 7 plus uh, 4 plus 7 plus 12. Similarly, we will be doing for 5 plus 8 plus 13. This is total will be happening 12 times. So what it is? So what it is? First time will be coming 17. Then 20 will be coming. Then 23 will be coming. Then 26 will be coming. Because every time for every element, 1 1 1 is incrementing. So Similarly, for 12 times, we have to do like this. This will be a series that we have to add in the future. So, the adding thing you can do on your own. Okay, it's uh, it will be a bit of time, uh, time taking. So, this you can tell me in the comment section that what is the correct answer. But I have told you the way of doing it that 12 times you can do 17 and then add 3, 3, 3 every time. So, this is what a final output will be. Okay, I hope now this question is also clear to you. Next question is, what will be the output of the following pseudocode? So, for integer i equal to 1 till 4, result equal to x into y. So, 4 iterations will be happening. x is 3, y equal to 6 and result will be starting from 0. So, <coughs> one time what is happening? x into y, that is 18. And then we are doing x plus 2, y, y plus 3. So, x plus 2 then will become first iteration 3 and 6, then 5 and uh, what it will be 5 and 9 then 7 and 12 because it is plus 2 and then it is plus 3 then 9 and 14 oh 15 so let's just multiply them 
this will become 18 this will become 45 this will become 12 into 7 what it is uh, 60 60 84 okay and 9 into 15 this is 135 let's just add it so 135 plus 84 plus 45 plus 18 so 5 plus 4 9 9 14 14 plus 8 is 22 okay then 2 here 5 13 17 18 then 222 is the correct answer here okay calculation might be wrong but i hope you have got the gist of the question 282 can be the correct answer here. okay i hope it's clear to you now moving towards the next question that is the last question of this particular video so that is c a b and c is given as f c is given as f a is given as s b is given as x and then we are doing c plus a plus b now once we are adding the characters it means we are adding the sky values of the character so f is 97 uh, 97 is small a okay 97 equivalent to small a and we have to find b then it is 98 and d is 100 so f is 102 similarly for s value what it will be uh, s value sky value and x we have to find so x will be quite easy uh, so i said okay so z will be 97 plus 26 will be z sorry plus 25 will be z this is 122 so x will be 120 x will be 120 what will be s i think it's 116 uh, okay so whatever it is i think 115 or 116 so you can just add these numbers 102 plus 105 plus 120 and the final answer will be the output here okay but the main purpose of this question was that whenever the characters are getting added you have to add their sky values okay sky values from small a to small z ranges from 97 to 122 and for capital a to capital z it ranges from 65 to 90 okay so these sky values you should know and every letter in between you can add plus that character i hope now i hope it's clear to you so these are all the pseudo codes that i needed to discuss in this particular video i hope you liked the video if you want more such videos for different companies as well you can write in the comment section and okay so guys as i have told you before in the video also that on our top mid page of code bashers we have infosys system engineer preparation material in this particular material we have all the sections covered which will be asked in infosys and for each and every section previously asked actual questions are there of infosys only and in earlier and earlier i have shown you the demo also like i have shown you the sample also so if you think that this material can help you for your preparation then do check out the links are in the description box and 20 percent discount is there for the first 100 students okay so guys thank Thank you for watching this video make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and do share this video among your friends as well